Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we're going to start a new series on circular motion and in particular we're going to show you how to, sol how to solve circular motion problems using graphical techniques. Before we start, let's again review what circular motion is. Here we have a circle and it's assume that there's an object or a point on the circle that's moving around. Here's the point right there. The point is a distance r away from the center of rotation and notice that this moment in time it has covered a distance theta relative to the horizontal axis which is typically the x-axis. S is the distance along the tangent along the edge of the circle that the object has moved and we can then see that S, the distance or arc length, is equal to the radius r times the angle theta. The angle theta needs to be in radians. So we call theta the angular distance. We have covered an angular distance of theta or we've covered a linear distance along the circle here equal to s or arc length. Here we're going to talk about the angular velocity. Assuming that the, that the disk is rotating or a point on the circle is rotating at a constant speed, notice that the angular velocity can be defined as the amount of angle that it's covered in the amount of time. This is called the instantaneous angular velocity. But if the, the angular acceleration is constant, if we're always dealing with constant angular acceleration, then we can say that omega can be defined as a certain amount of angle covered in a certain amount of time, or simply the final position in terms of angle minus the initial position in terms of angle divided by the time elapsed. We can again relate the tangential velocity along the circle, v, as simply being equal to the radius r times the angular velocity. The unit for angular velocity is radians per second. Radians is a non-unit, so it's really one over seconds. When we talk about the angular acceleration, notice that the object may not be moving around the circle at a constant speed. It may be speeding up or it may be slowing down. And if we deal with it in terms of the angular dimensions, we call that angular acceleration. The definition of angular acceleration, alpha, is defined as the change in omega over time. That would be the instantaneous angular acceleration. Or if the acceleration is constant, we can write in terms of the change in omega, the change in the angular velocity divided by the change in time, or the final angular velocity minus the initial angular velocity divided by the elapsed time. Again, we can relate the tangential acceleration, the acceleration of an a point on the rim of the circle. If this is accelerating, the acceleration in a linear fashion is equal to the radius r times the angle acceleration. Note that the units of angle acceleration are radians per second square. Again, radians is a non-unit, so we could simply write as 1 over second square. So these are the basic concept of angular motion. We have angular distance or angular displacement, we have angular velocity, and we have angular acceleration. Notice that these are related to the, to the equations of kinematics, and we'll show you that later, of linear motion as well. And then we can show you the techniques of how to solve these types of problems using graphical techniques. So here we have a good start on it. Let's show you the next video where we're going to relate the equations of motion in angular sense or in rotational sense to the linear equations of motion to see how they're related to one another. That's how it's done.